In this video, I will show you how you can connect your Go High Level account. There are two methods. One is the default Enlighten node. If you search for High Level, you can see the default node. You can connect this or you can use HTTP request node. Let's start with default node. Open the node. Click on create new credential and copy the redirect URI. Go to marketplace.gohighlevel.com, white label or standard. It doesn't matter. Choose one and create an app. You can add logo, but these are all option optionals. You can come straight to advanced settings, authorization, paste the redirect URL, copy it and add it. Before you select this, save it. Add at least one scope. If you see the documentation of Go High Level, these are the scopes you can add. If you go to high level credentials, you can see these are the scopes we'll have in the default node. So I'm going to copy these scopes, add these scopes here. Okay, you need to add scopes as well. Once while you're creating the app, you do have to add scopes here. So make sure to leave space. For client ID and client secret, we're gonna go to marketplace, save this app, and make sure to select this. Redirect URL, name your client key. I'm gonna give you an item test. And copy the client ID and client secret. Just go to an item. This is not the client ID, this is the client secret, the client ID, and the client secret as well. Everything is perfect. I'm gonna save it and connect my account. That's the account I logged in with. Okay, now this account is connected. So if I want to pull the contacts or any details, it's gonna work. Let's test this. Okay, you can see I have pulled all the contacts. This is a very straightforward method. And I, I wouldn't recommend this method because of because there is limited scopes and we need to have all the scopes. So what I would recommend, use the HTTP request mode with private integration. If you go to your Go High level and settings and private integration, you'll see create new integration. Just click on name the token this is test an item test and description is optional you can view business edit business view contact edit contact right now this is a demo purpose you have this edit user as well this is a very sensitive scope so before you add it to make sure you know you're giving it to the right person we can add view social media post edit social media post so this is your private integration token just copy it Go to your N I ten. So these are the scopes I have added, right? Four scopes. So for this to work, you need to go to high level documentation. Just go to developer.gohighlevel.com. Go to documentation. You can see this documentation. I'm going to search for contacts, get contacts. You can use this curl command. Just copy this curl command, change it to the proper location ID. I'm going to give this private integration token that I have copied. Now you can see my VR token is exposed, right? So you can change that. Right now I have given headers. What I can do to not show my Vera token is to just delete it and come to authentication, generic credential, and click on header authorization and create new credential and name it authorization and paste your value, which is Vera and your API token. Just save it and I'm going to test it.
you can see, I got the total contacts. Thank you.